Hi, Vim Slater. You are lead product manager uh, for ANSYS. And could you, in a few words, uh, what is the activity of your company, ANSYS? Yes, it's, uh, I'm, I'm very pleased to be here, actually, and being interviewed by yourself. Uh, at ANSYS, actually, we provide um, insight and clarity to customers' most complex design challenges through fast, reliable, and accurate simulation. And by, by using uh, simulation software of ANSYS, uh, people become faster, uh, more innovative, um, um, with, with their products to the market, and, and real, really realizing their product promises uh, in, a, in a more cost-effective manner. Okay, and what is the main difficulty for the companies uh, when they launch into the HPC, and which are the solutions uh, they adopt? Right, good question. Yeah, actually, I mean, it's, it's almost needless mentioning that, man that managing uh, HPC clusters is not straightforward and simple. Yeah? Uh, as a matter of fact, it, it really requires specialized IT expertise, which is often lacking within our customers. And uh, actually, we have developed uh, uh, different solutions for the matter to resolve those issues. And one, one of them is, for example, that we've built up an ecosystem of cloud hosting partners that uh, provide HPC infrastructure and IT services to customers who are lacking, yeah, who are lacking the knowledge to set it up th themselves, um, so that they can actually benefit from HPC um, through cloud hosting uh, uh, solutions. But there is another solution that actually we've partnered with co companies like Fujitsu, HP, and Lenovo, and some others, where we've developed what I call turnkey HPC appliances. And, and these are basically out of the box, plug and simulate, externally managed HPC clusters, which are optimized for ANSYS applications, and they can be pre-configured with ANSYS software and job management software, and basically taking away the IT complexity uh, of specifying a cluster, of deploying a cluster, maintaining a cluster. We take away that complexity through these turnkey HPC appliances. Okay, and what is the, the, your last investment, uh, investment uh, regarding HPC? Yeah, I think it, it, it's with the latest release of ANSYS 16.0 and our structural mechanics software suite, we are, um, uh, we've made significant investment in terms of supporting Intel Xeon Phi coprocessors. I think, uh, without sounding uh, arrogant, we are the first um, commercial engineering simulation software provider supporting Intel Xeon Phi coprocessors on both Windows and Linux. And, um, and actually, we've seen significant, significant speed up thanks to the the use of Intel Xeon Phi. And I can give you a, a, a ballpark figure of running an entire software uh, benchmark suite um, and, and, and getting a speed up of approximately 3x thanks to the, the addition of Xeon Phi coprocessors on a current platform of hardware. Parallel software scalability is all about the same, right? No, I don't, I don't, don't think so. And that's what we hear indeed more often. I mean, you're not the only one who makes the statement. I think it's a wrong perception. For sure, in, in order to be successful in HPC, you need to have a con sustained and continued uh, investment in HPC. You need to make sure that the entire ecosystem of HPC is supported well. And that goes beyond parallel scalability. Parallel scalability is important, and we continue to make uh, uh, improvements release by release. Yeah, you, you may have heard that CFD scales up to the 10,000s of compute cores. We are, as mentioned, supporting our Xeon Phi coprocessors next to NVIDIA GPUs. So we need to make sure that our software take advantage of the latest hardware infrastructures, for sure. But there is more to that. Yeah? You need to have the commitment from your partners, HPC hardware partners like Intel, like the NVIDIA companies, like the Lenovo and HP, to make sure that you get their support yeah, in, in terms of for example, the HPC appliance projects which we run. 
uh, we are working with cloud hosting partners, for example. We work with the Amazon on, as the cloud backend for the enterprise cloud solution. So we work on the entire HPC um, ecosystem to make sure that our applications um, scale well, but beyond that, take advantage of all the latest technologies out there. Tomorrow, do you think the future of HPC is cloud computing? Yes, for, for sure, the, the, the future of HPC in, in, it is looking very bright in cloud computing. More and more users are looking for ways to scale up HPC for faster, bigger and more simulations. And as I also mentioned, yeah, there are companies who struggle with the deployment of HPC clusters. And for that matter, yeah, we are working with uh, partners to make sure that, that it's easy, yeah, that, it's, that we are simplifying HPC cluster deployments. Yeah. But cloud hosting partners are important as well yeah, for companies who lack the IT expertise and knowledge or may lack the HPC support. We can bring them in contact with an ecosystem of cloud hosting partners who are hosting our applications in the cloud. And there are companies who are also thinking about cloud in terms of a more global deployment, yeah, where they want to have a consistent approach for, um, yeah, for their end users to take advantage of HPC hardware and HPC software, where we enable that through enterprise cloud solutions, yeah, where we have actually developed and a solution which we actually released last uh, the previous months in May, where we have released an enterprise cloud solutions, uh, enabling enterprise customers to take advantage of uh, a global deployment of our applications in the cloud with an entire end-to-end -end simulation platform being supported with auto-scaling, supported with HPC resources, with storage, with remote visualization, all on a global scale. Okay, thank you, Wim Slatter. Yeah, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity.